Welcome, Crusaders, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So we're here at Crimson Dust. We had some bloody rain falling, and uh, we fought this gross, uh, disgusting, like, no-skin zombie kind of thing. Um, we're on our way to the Ivory Sanctum. I actually played some, and I lost... A fair amount of footage uh, but what we what we did was um, we went with Sosiel to the uh, Lost Chapel and found the uh, deserter extirpators uh, and talked to them about Trevor Sosiel's brother it, who it turns out uh, is a hell knight but maybe not such a a bad hell knight. Um, Sociol, I think, doesn't quite know yet what to think, uh, but maybe is feeling not quite as bad about his brother as he had been. So unfortunately, I, I lost all of that and won't be able to show you what happened there. Uh, but in any case, it seems like uh, Sociol is doing better than he had been. Uh, at least he kind of knows what what happened with his brother. His brother apparently was abducted, but maybe not killed. So I guess we don't know for sure if Trevor is alive or dead. Um, but Sociol seems to be in a better place. We are now on our way to the Ivory Sanctum. It sounds like we could have some trouble actually getting to it, even though we have the the route opened up. So we're gonna see what happens when we get down here close. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Oh, we got another. Oh, this, no, okay. All right, so this may be part of like us not actually being, being able to get to the Ivory Sanctum. As I was saying, thanks for being here. Oh boy. We've got what the hill giants, ash giant wrecker, and oh, we got several of them, and some spiders. What are these? Are level 14s, so these shouldn't be real difficult for us. Although uh, they kind of caught us off guard here. All right, we'll try to take care of these so we can uh, move on. Few good shots there from Lon. All right, Arushala, let's see what you can do. I kind of want her shooting at un uninjured enemies. If she could actually hit them, which <laughs> she didn't. We supposedly get a bonus, then everybody else gets a bonus because of, I think it's a, a belt that she has on. Nice work there from Sela and Aegis. Actually, it kind of looks like we could just real-time this and get this over with. Ouch. <laughs> As Ember just gets destroyed. Okay. Well, that didn't work very well. Uh, okay, timeout. Back to turn-based. We don't need to just unnecessarily kill ourselves. It seems like maybe this is part of, like we didn't even have a chance to evade them, which I guess maybe we just failed on a roll for that, but it says in the journal that like we may have trouble getting to the Ivory Sanctum and this could be part of that trouble. Okay, Amber, how about... Got these two. I'd like to hit them both. Something. Let's move over here. Try the uh, fire snake. I guess we could have done like a... Uh, burning arc. But that works. Okay, Lon. 
let's see if we can finish off this one. You won't survive me. Yeah. Gonna get a shot on that one too. And we'll have Arushala work on that one. Yeah, I can't believe I lost that footage. Once in a while, I have trouble with OBS, the recording software. I, I really try to, uh, like I generally make sure I don't have other stuff running. I'll usually restart the computer, make sure everything's fresh, ready to go. Just because once in a while, it will like hang up at the end of a recording and then if you know anything about that software, then it's uh, it kind of just leaves all the recording in limbo, and I don't have a way to actually like write it to the disc. And once in a while, it, it does something like that, and I'm able to save it still. Uh, but this time, I lost. I, I had like 15 minutes out of probably an hour and 15 minute recording, but. The one good thing was I did quite a bit of bumbling around Godspeed. in the hat trying to find the Lost Chapel, which uh, is right next to Dresden, but I somehow had it in my head from a conversation or something that we had to go to Canabras, so ended up just walking all over Tarnation trying to get to the Lost Chapel, which was like two feet from Dresden. But eventually figured it out and made it there and uh, relieved some of Socio's, jeez, someone on the road now here. We alleviated some of Socio's uh, consternation about the path his brother took. And his brother may still be alive, apparently. We got another encounter here. Jeez. This one didn't say a fight, but... Let us press on. Does that mean it's not a fight? Uh, which oh, we've got fatigue. Well, let's at least get healed up. Make sure everybody's topped up. Um, could just throw on a bless to a little bit of preparedness. Knows what we'll find here. Oh, it's this guy. We've seen him before at other campfires. Or at least another ancient ghost. A familiar ghostly figure rises to greet you. We meet again. I will ask you a question. Ask me a question and I will answer. The second question is more complex and therefore the answer will be more difficult. I will share a memory with you, and you must tell me what you see. For a moment, the world around you ceases to exist. Instead, you find yourself surrounded by a thin, delicate mist. A green light ripples through the mist, illuminating the silhouettes of people, buildings, hills, ocean waves, animals, and trees. You see them briefly as they take shape, but they vanish almost as quickly as they appear. But there is something else with you in the mist, something that doesn't disappear. Menacing, elongated shadows rush toward you from all sides, and then the vision fades, the images flickering out of existence. The answer is simple. The vision showed you the ethereal plane. You saw astro demons hunting down souls that were trying to reach for Asma's court. I'm glad we succeeded in that check. Uh, I saw astro demons, or demons, stealing souls in the ethereal plane. All it takes is a little knowledge to begin your journey. By answering this question correctly, you have taken the next step toward acquiring great knowledge. The legacy of the ancients is now open to you. Solve its riddle and you can continue forward. The secrets of creation will be revealed to the one most worthy. Do not give up your search. After you give your answer, you hear a strange noise like the ringing of a bell. The sound reverberates through the air. My time is almost at an end. Quick, ask me a question before the spell takes effect. Okay, Legacy of the Ancients has been revealed. Uh, oh, this is part of the whole Heart of Mystery thing. 
How long have you been bound to the heart of mystery? Thousands of years. I was sent to this place to lure adventurers into the heart of mystery. And I have been here since the age of darkness, when these lands did not know the light of the sun. Fortunately, I am not awake all the time or I would have gone insane long ago. I sleep in dreamless slumber, or perhaps I do not exist at all, until an adventurer appears, seeking a way into the heart of mystery. Then I am ripped from my dormant slumber, I am thrown back into the world where I exist for a short time as nothing more than a ghost. The ghost barely manages to finish his sentence. A sudden burst of magical energy surges through his body and he disappears with a scream. Okay. The heart of mystery is a mystery indeed. Um, and unfortunately, since I only managed to get time in this game, basically once a week I'm having trouble keeping track of some of the events and riddles and puzzles that we probably ought to uh, be keeping track of okay oh that opened up this down here legacy of the ancients let us oh we've got uh, I don't want it to get distracted with that stuff. Let's keep going here. Okay, yeah, we need to camp. We're heading into a corruption territory here. Okay, let's see. Ivory Sanctum, enter. Okay, we at least made it this far. There was some question, I guess, as to how far we would be able to get. But this is maybe just the outskirts of it. Kind of looks that way. Um, Our path leads on. Okay, we're not going to buff up yet. This, this doesn't look like that big of an area. I'm guessing it leads somewhere else, though. Like oh, indoors. There, like cave entrance down here or something. What's that pile of skulls. Uh oh, oh, okay, yeah. Right, did we pass anything over here? No, okay. All right, here we go. Ivory Sanctum. So this is part of this whole. Thing where demons we've got like boosted demons abilities far different than those of any demons the crusaders have encountered before chief of winter sun clan was safe guarding a skull key that opened the door to the castle in the clouds which is in fact the ivory sanctum okay we had a pile of skulls there is that all that's referring to I guess we've checked this one off. So maybe, yeah, we just need to go inside. Okay, we won't belabor that point any longer. We'll head in. Maybe should have buffed before we entered. I, I kind of hope this is not as large of an area as Blackwater, which we are gonna have to go back to some point because we we really didn't make it that far into Blackwater and I don't know if maybe it's meant to be that type of uh, an area that we kind of do gradually but I don't think it's it's not DLC is it it, it appears as part of the main quest although uh, it sounds like it's an optional part of the main quest I guess all right we're gonna get buffed up Okay, we are set to go onward. Let's take a look at the map. All right, so definitely a larger area, although not 
huge. We got a ferocious shear down there. Did he I'm see us yet? Ears. See if Long can get a shot off. Looks like it. Make every strike count. Uh oh. We won't fall here. I swear it. Nice. Okay, we took out one. Oh, go ahead and hit. Uh, let's not waste the instrument of freedom. I don't think we need it here. Ember, let's. Do we want to get the shadow demon out yet? I don't. Let's not worry about that either. But we're not even close enough to do anything. With Ember, just move up there. Arushala, she's too far away too. Got this narrow bridge kind of restricting everybody. Oh, we got more here. Okay. Sila, Aegis. Move up. So we've got some chaotic evil enemies. Let's. Oh, he's not in a good position really to do protection from evil. Guess we'll just move up. Yeah, okay. Whoops. Okay, Lon. Do some work on that shear and that one. Oh, is that it? Okay. We got more, just they're coming in. Brimorax down there. Boy, I remember when a Brimorax uh, was pretty scary. And now they're just a tiny little part of this group of disgusting demons. Um, we could go ahead and do a, a protection from evil with him. Actually, let's use the instrument of freedom on this Minotaur. Now, Ember, can we get close enough with the Hellfire Ray? We'll get the uh, Shadow Demon out. Oh, we're still too far. No, no, she can hit it. We get her shadow demon summon then from her belt or helmet she has on. It's nice to get that summon just by casting a spell. Like we don't have to waste a turn to get that out. Doesn't cost us anything. Wow, they just keep coming here, don't they? I mean, we could put like it's probably too far. Put like the uh, entanglement out here. Actually, could we've got the feather step on, so everybody else should be able to walk on it. Okay, let's do it. I don't know if we did anything. They all saved on it, apparently. What's that? Coloxus? Of course, now we're not going to be able to see anything here. But yeah, with that entanglement here, we can't even... Like, we lost track completely of those Brimoraks. You don't even see them there now. I guess that's the downside of using those AoEs. Let's move Seal and Aegis up in here. Nice. Just blew up one of them. So Seal, come on up here. Jeez. You just fireballed everybody in here? What? What is that? Oh my god. Stop it. What is this? 
giant pig-faced winged creature. Oh my god. More of them. We're just getting the whole army right here, I guess. Okay. Now Feshni. Where's his portrait here? Chaotic Evil Outsider. Only level 14. Boy. Well, okay, Lon, let's... Do we have him just work on that thing? Or he might kill this Minotaur. Let's do that. He won't survive me. I'm actually glad we got the entanglement out there because I think it slowed down their advance a little bit. Um, let's give Sela the instrument of freedom. If I can. All right, Ember. Now we need like fire in here. Or do we need something else? I really rely on the fire and kind of forget about the other things. We haven't even been using our hexes much. But look at that. I mean, they're all lined up. Of course, the Brimaracks, fire's probably not going to hurt them, is it? But we actually did. And I don't know if that's because she has the mythic ability that overrides like fire resistance maybe it is because we damaged them that was big nice ember I can still fight Jeez. just hammering on so seal okay Arusha, let's take down a sniper I will resist. good Bismuth. But we still have got a Brimrack down there, but we'll let Sela handle that. Let's get... Well, I can't really move past this one. Oh, did he get entangled? Okay, Sela, let's... Yeah, we don't need to... Smite here, do we? Just kill it. Good. So she was attacking that thing from clear over there. I guess it's just big enough. If that's possible. Alright. So seal. We, we could actually heal himself. Might be wise. Still a lot of them. But we don't appear to be getting any a new. Oh boy. Unholy Nimbus. Okay, that all looked worse than it was, I believe. Yeah, we're slowing them down nicely with that entanglement. Blind. Let's get that axe thrower. This. Well, we took him down halfway. The demon's not doing much in there. Zeke and Axen. Um. I don't know if we can use the Order's Wrath because, let's see, Sela's good aligned, isn't she? Maybe we kind of want to, we're only hitting, actually we're basically only hitting enemies anyway. Nice. I actually don't know if I've used that very much. We damaged the Shadow Demon. Did we hit Sela too? I don't think so. 
All right, now Ember. Um, another fire snake through here. Could really take out the trash. Here we go. Uh, should have maybe tried to kill that shear. Ah, uh, jeez. That axe thrower does not like Sosial at all. Is Sila, is she like entangled? We shouldn't be, should we? We've got the feather step on. But why can we not move? Apparently not. We're stuck. So I guess we, uh, huh. Apparently we're entangled, I guess, although we don't have any indication of that. Can't move. I don't know. Hold on, Bismuth. Oh boy. Our dinosaur is hanging tough. Barely. Okay, Lon, let's get this guy taken care of. Good. We're about to take down Nalfeshni. I'm tempted to use the Order's Wrath again. We got some pretty good damage out of that. If we do it here, we're hitting Sela, but I think she's okay because I don't think it affects good aligned. Only chaotic and neutral. I don't think Sela's neutral. I, I know I could look, but we're just going for it. That cleared out a couple of them. Can't tell because of our own mess with the tentacles. Now Amber can kill now Fashni for sure. Let's move, move her over a little bit, please. Want to go like in here? Get all of them. Good. I need your assistance. Oh, dang it. Well, he's got the last stand, so Sosil's safe. Sila is still stuck, unfortunately. This evoker, I don't even know where they are. Or that fly head thing. You've crossed the Take road. out that one. So we're down to just the one at Minotaur here. Other than those those other two that we can't see. Zeke, get in there. Oh, there's one. There's. Colossus. Let's see. Let's hit that thing with a hex. How about a uh, a slumber? Been using the slumber. We'll save. I can still fight. St still going after. So seal. Seal still can't move. Don't know where that guy is. Oh boy. Alright, Lon, kill this.
Zeke. Get back there. This is the flyhead thing. So we still don't know where that evoker is. Now let's try the uh, AC. Evil Eye. Save. Bismuth can walk through those tentacles. Sela cannot. So Seal is incapacitated, I guess. So is Arushala. Bismuth is dead or unconscious. Okay, Lon, let's hit this thing hard. Endure this. Good. Let's see, we could use the uh, searing light here on this guy. Okay, Ember, I guess we're just going back to the fire. Since the hexes are not doing much. Nice, did he just take some charisma from the shadow demon? Yeah, okay. Not gonna worry too much Make about that. Okay, that guy's down. We've still got that evoker in here somewhere. Hmm. We have C invisibility on, don't we? Yeah. I don't know, maybe he's hiding back here and we need to get some people over there. Everybody's got that. I, yeah. Send Zeke this way. That is quite a discovery. Uh, where are you? Might need to real time it just to find him. Okay, we're just going out of turn based. At least we'll let the tentacles run out. Oh, did the fight end? Oh, okay. All right then. That takes care of that. Okay, boy, we barely made it inside and we just got overrun with we just trap here. Glad we noticed that. Was that gargoyle gonna shoot us with something? We march ahead. Make sure we're on turn based. So we've got like pressure plate there and there. College world check. A chaotic conglomeration of confessions from the Baphomet cultists. I used to be a paladin of the Eagle Watch, but then I succumbed to the temptation, murdered two of my friends, and came here. I cooked for a crusade army for five years, poisoning at least a hundred soldiers. Nobody knows how much of this is true. This was simple enough. Long and glorious history of the Ivory Sanctum is described on this tablet. The Sanctum was built at the time of the Second Crusade and has served as a stronghold of Baphomet's unstoppable forces ever since. Oh, oh, there's the evoker. Okay. 
Just hanging out over Are there, I guess. Yet? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Hey! Okay, okay. <laughs> and that's that. Should have joined your friends in the previous fight. This bob relief that depicts happened. demons accompanied by mysterious inscriptions on the language of the abyss. I guess oh, we failed that knowledge check. And we failed that one, too. Alright, so... Do we just need somebody on both of these plates? There we go. And who do we have here? A familiar narrow shadow appears before you. The antenna on the creature's head quiver, its hands linked tightly together. You have arrived, Commander. Comes the high-pitched voice in your head. You have arrived, Commander. <laughs> I don't think it's like teenage boy voice. You did give me a grave insult at our last meeting, but I still want to speak with you. When did we meet them? Man, I can't, don't remember that. You have discovered my castle in the clouds, although it is a far cry from what it once was. Jerabeth's voice buzzes with irritation. When did we meet them? I have something you re you need. Information and assistance. You can help me in return. Let's talk. As a gesture of my goodwill, I will even allow your companions to hear our conversation. See, I am eminently reasonable. What are you proposing? This place, the Ivory Sanctum, used to be my own personal domain. But in recent times, I have been forced to share it with a horde of allies. There is one among them who will likely interest you. Xanthir, the plagued one. Jerabeth's voice chitters with emotion. It drops to a heated whisper. A swarm that walks, a mesmerizing creation. Who could have imagined that a mortal could be turned into something so extraordinary? He is behind many of the calamities that have befallen you. It is from his hands that myself and other demons have received our new abilities. Kill him and the lords will struggle to find his equal for a long time. I won't simply stand aside. I will help you as well. I'll tell you what I know and ensure that my servants do not attack you here in the sanctum. We came into your house ready to fight and instead of fighting back, you're ready to give up your own side for us to kill. Even Wenduag could learn something from you. You are beginning to understand. You see, demons hate everyone, our own kind, our enemies, even ourselves. Our entire lives are based on destruction for the sake of self-destruction. If someone is seeking the bleakest and most appalling death for themselves and everyone around them, what chance is there that they will feel compassion or friendship toward others? Uh-huh. So if demons are also monstrous by nature and know nothing of honor or fellowship, remind me again, why did we trust you? You'd betray your own kind? Why? Because I am a demon. You detect amusement in Jerabeth's voice. Rules, laws, loyalty, seek them in hell and heaven, anywhere but the abyss. I served Lord Baphomet for as long as it benefited me, more than it cost me. I was the mistress here in my castle in the clouds. The entire territory was under my control. But then Minago, that arrogant fool, botched the attack on Canabras and the Wardstones. Our laboratory in Dresden was under threat and Xanthir and his minions were quickly pulled out of the city. They offered up the sanctum for his use and made him the ultimate authority here over me. I was forced out of my private quarters, made to live on the margins within my own home as a horde of demons from Descari's armies were herded in. With Xanthir playing commander and his servants running all my endeavors, there is nothing for me to do here. This place can fall for all I care. I will find a new patron in the abyss. That's why I'm telling you, kill our common enemy. I will help you do it. Xanthir used to live in Dresden? Yes, close to Minago. Where did you think she got that pet Nabasu of hers? Where can I find Xanthir? He's very close, in my former private quarters. There's only a wall separating us, but his lair is well protected and you cannot access it from here. You have to make your way through the entire sanctum, crossing the bridge and the main guard post. 
which is headed by the cultist Zanedra. Coming back will be easier. There is a secret passage from Xanthir's lair into my rooms that can only be opened from the other side. You seem to have a low opinion of Discari's servants. I served Discari myself once, but I changed masters because life among the Descarites was just unbearably boring. Unlike followers of Baphomet, Descari's minions have no appreciation for the finer pleasures. All they know is killing and ravaging. You saw one of them, Derizand, in the battle for Jezen. He is a vivid embodiment of everything I despise about my former comrades. Primitive and predictable butchers, the lot of them. What information are you willing to share with me? The information that you undoubtedly want more than anything. How the demons have started acquiring their new monstrous powers. It didn't start with Santhir and it won't end with him. But I will tell you what I know, only if you fulfill your part of the deal. Ugh. Boy, this is borderline out of character for Zeke, but I think we're going to take the help where we can get it. The demon tilts her head to the side. That's good. Then listen, there are two factions in the Sanctum currently. The ones who came here with Xanthir do not answer to me. That, groups includes, that group includes ordinary demons, mythic demons, and his loyal mortal mages. You will have to fight them. There's no getting around that. But then there are Baphomet's followers as well. I will give you my mark so that my subjects will take you for one of our own. They have been dying to take on our unwelcome house guests for a long time. So just tell them that their mistress says, do it. The demon smiles wistfully. My mark will also serve another purpose. If you defeat Xanthir, it will bind his swarm and force it to fly directly into my net. I cannot allow such a unique creature to disappear entirely. I will preserve him in some form. You once again hear an undercurrent of amusement in Jerobet's voice. The demon waves a delicate hand in your direction. You are instantly doused in a sweet smelling wave. Then it passes. There, the mark is in place. Go and find me in my main chamber when it is all over. Okay. Uh, anybody else feel dirty now? We've got Jerabeth's mark on us. Gross. This will make the servants of the demon Jerabeth acknowledge you. If you defeat Xanthir Vang, it will help Jerabeth capture his locust swarm. Well. So Xanthir is apparently just like. What the heck? Oh, it's a sh it's chandelier. I, from this vantage point, it looked like a giant thing standing there. Is he? He's apparently just like maybe back here, but we can't get there directly. Okay. Uh, not knowing what is to come, I I feel like this is a good place to a break. Um, we'll come back next time. We made it into we made it like one and one and a half rooms. So we spent a lot of time here in this episode in that battle, I guess. Uh, but we uh, got our way in here into the sanctum, and we shall continue on. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it, and I really hope to see you again here next time. Bye for now.